Hello, hello. I am your gondolier of the day and I'm rolling you around to see Venice. And why Venice? Because this is the theme of my project. My clients, right, when they look for me, they told me very simple only, two and a half years ago, they told me, very simple, we want a Scandi house. I was like, oh, Scandi, okay, okay, I can do Scandi. Two and a half years later, they told me, hey, no, we changed already. <laughs> we, we are very inspired by the anime called Arya. And we want our house to be Venice, la, but with Santorini colours. I was like, Psh, how to do that in the HDB? Then, got tears already, but it's deep inside my heart, cannot see one. I, I was panicking, but I tried to make it work. La. So now I'm going to roll you down to see Venice with Santorini colours. And now, let's start with the highlight of our gondola tour, which is ta -da, the living room. Okay, typically, uh, when people do Venice style or Santorini style, right, it's very typical one. They will just uh, throw a few uh, blue cushions here and there, and then have blue walls here and there, which is very, 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 very boring. And I don't want to do that, but at the same time, I don't want to go too cheesy. Hence, the concept is very important. And because the living room anchors the whole house, right, I have chosen TV wall to be the spokesman of this concept. Okay, a bit chim, but yet, Abstract. So we are actually looking at the bank of a canal as though you are on a gondola and you are travelling and this is the bank. So we will have all these nice houses uh, by the canal bank right which has all the nice windows, la, nice pillars, la, Roman pillars la. and then you have steps to let you go down not not uh, jump into the water, huh? go down to the gondola. We have brick wall, right? I wanted to show water without showing water. I don't want to go cheesy and show walls, water sticker and all that, right? So we have a strip of blue laminate on the carpentry to demarcate this whole water line, which I think is more subtle and more sophisticated and not so cheesy. La. As with any space stuff HDB, right? Storage is so important. So, whenever we have space, uh, we create storage. So, my client, right, he has so many books until we have to create this storage. But, what do you think this is? <laughs> you would think it's another storage, right? Nah. It's actually a door to the bomb shelter so that we hide the ugly bomb shelter doors. Going to my next destination, all these wall lamps that we specially curated for this house. These are outdoor lamps actually. But used indoors because we want to conjure the whole Venice outdoor view. Ma. So hence all the wall lamps here are all this kind one, this kind one. Which I think is looking fantastic with the rest of the house. You guys must be tired from all the tour. Actually it's me lah. Ho. I'm very tired from rolling. So let's take a seat, have a break and chill. Come, come. This is our very cute dining area. Coffee, please. Thank you. See the waiters here, the service is very good. So this is our dining area, which we are trying to conjure the whole feel of alfresco dining. I suggested for my clients to buy this whole set of uh, Ang ish dining furniture. So you can see it's the rattan, the black and white rattan <laughs> feel really has the outdoor and more European feel. But at the same time, right, I don't want to leave the walls blank. Hence, ta -da -da, we have this whole picture frame in the form of window. And we purposely buy this to purge it so that the whole thing, right, is a very pretty picture to anchor this whole place. But, uh, let me use my all to point. More importantly is our choice of light as well. We purposely saw something that kind of industrial light to anchor the place. But this whole place got to gel with our... Hey, this one is very useful, you can point like that. Uh, can gel with our kitchen. So I'm going to show you the kitchen. And I love this barn door. It's supposed to hold the whole place together. But Okay, I show you, don't say don't have. It is supposed to 
shield the kitchen from all the grease. Ta-da! This is our kitchen. Actually, the kitchen hall is very tiny because we never open up the space to the yard. But, small as it may be, we actually put in a lot of uh, effort to play with the wall tiles. You can see, two different types of wall tiles. One is the fancier one and one is the solid blue one. So that there's design feature in this tiny kitchen, yet it is functional. For instance, the backsplash will make sure that the grease doesn't go onto the wall. And here, this whole stretch is to beautify the kitchen. This wall, it may look like wallpaper in video. Don't know whether you can see that. So you must come up close and see the texture. It's actually like real wood. I touch it, I feel like it's real wood. So it gives the very rustic and authentic touch. Wow, this one is very important because it's actually a spice cabinet. You see my clients, they bother to keep everything so nicely. Uh, a for effort. They also have this rack. They ask me, lah, you know, is it okay to have this rack here? I think okay, definitely, because they want to put pots and pans here. I need to feature this. The fact that it's kitchen doesn't mean it cannot be decorative. So what we did was to have very nicely uh, contoured wall shelves on two sides to create that symmetry. Like I always say, symmetry makes the whole house look nicer. So then, we have all these artificial plants to liven up the place. In terms of handles as well, I put a lot of effort to source this handle because I didn't want to just have normal handles. So you can see these handles right are very Mediterranean in style. Every single detail works together to create that look. Now you see I roll faster because I drank coffee. So this is the other highlight of the house. It actually flows with the concept of the living room because remember canal ma? That the other side of the canal is the, the bank ma where the houses are. So this is the opposite side of the bank. Okay, which is somebody else's courtyard. What happens is, down here previously was a room, but we open up by hacking the wall so that we open up this space to become the chill area. We actually have furniture for you to chill around. But our main purpose is to create this courtyard where we will have -da -da, a very nice feature wall leading to somebody else's house, ma, correct? But this house wall is actually our study. This wall, if you can see, it looks like a normal wall, right? Like Fei Fei one, Bai Mei one. Actually, it's not law. It's functional because this whole thing is a storage cabinet on the other side in the study. <laughs> you didn't know, right? You think it's very cheesy, very Bai Mei only. But it's not law. It's functional. So, other than serving as this whole nice, let you buy sweet sweet things feature wall, it's also this for us to highlight this very important point which is our feng shui water fountain and feng shui water fountain sounds very feng shui you know so we try to make it sound like it's very atas ma so we must on purpose display it and not uh, afterthought our imaginary grass and i didn't want to put grass because very cheesy ma put grass then it's so uncomfortable to walk on so we have this whole carpet green carpet that is like the carpet that we saw in the living room except this is green to scene set and marks out this whole space for the courtyard now that i parked my gondola by the side right i'm going to bring you to break into somebody else's house remember somebody else's house at the courtyard ah uh, we are going in but huh? let's be polite and call Okay, nobody respond, but we still go in. This is the somebody's house, which is our study. Ta-da! As you can see, the space is very, very tight. So I'm going to retreat back to show you all the features. The study, right, contains his terminal and her terminal. And we put all this funny stuff to adorn the whole place so that it's quite cute. La. It's as though, ah, He's her life boy and she's his life boy. Oh, so sweet. <laughs> okay, I find myself irritating because I slept myself. We did all these features.
to make sort of his life easier so this is a customized Kanban board but more importantly right let me show you is this cabinet which if you recall is the other side of the feature wall that belongs to the courtyard so remember I told you it's not just a feature wall it has storage the storage comes in this form so this one okay I must see how I can show you Ta-da! and it's this in the same ship lab style and then we also have this recurring theme of Italian words right so this is Vinci it means to win eh, as though I know actually I don't know Italian one somebody told me it's called Vinci and it's to win so and we also brought in all these funny things like just to make the whole space more cohesive and uh, not so stiff la, because study is very stiff ma, very serious so now we have lifened up the place with a lot of plants and nice carpet as well so that they can both work in peace and this is our common bathroom common bathroom is very simple all we did was to play with tiles as you can see we divide the walls into two types square tiles but off-white and blue and then we played a lot with carpentry choice of sink and if you look at this right you will see it's the same handle as the kitchen so there's synergy in it and our choice of accessories again very important I chose this can you tell it is very uh, nautical in feel the whole thing uh, is just to make a very small space interesting hence wherever there is wall space right we also fit it with posters that are very Venice or Santorini in style now we slowly roll into the master bathroom tile wise is actually a fair play of both horizontal Kit Kat tiles and this very nicely patterned uh, Mediterranean style tile so we use white and blue to contrast and but because my clients are quite particular about uh, cleanliness and the hygiene side so they want the rest of the bathroom to be dirt resistant so to speak so we have used grey tiles instead and also paired with the blue pattern tiles we played with Santorini posters and also all these artificial plants to bring up the life part of it also can I bring your attention to this I always like to choose nice pendant lamps so that the style right, matches the whole vibe nicely and then it's a highlight by itself again of course mirrors don't just need to be mirrors ma. they can be nice and have all these design features like all these leather straps again we're using the same handles to have consistency in the whole look and now we're rolling into the master bedroom Ta-da! this room right is characterized by the very significantly Ang Mo <laughs> ship black wall ship black wall is this paneling like so we also painted half of the wall blue so that there is visual interest and also boring la. but at the same time we also extended this ship lab effect to the wardrobe so that there's consistency in the look and synergy see is it gross okay quite neat i show you more if it's gross i quickly close already okay so we also pay a lot of attention to all these small small features like handles door handles you see wood to gel in with the rest and also the fact that we played with this whole Italian feel because Venice ma, Italy ma this is Amore I don't think it's called Amore la because that's the brand so it's Amore <laughs> Amore. And we also played with a lot of uh, planter boxes. Brought in also street lamp, the wall light, same type as the outside. We also pay special attention to having wall posters like this, which are floral in theme, but blue ma. Then the whole space will be gelled together already and it's very comforting and very cozy. Okay, so we've come to the end of the gondola tour. I am very glad I got to do this, but Ah, the brief was very challenging so um, I, I don't think many houses in Singapore has this theme 
So I am glad I pulled it off, although the sweat was this big, maybe like 20 centimeter in diameter. So while I applaud my clients for giving me this brief, I also think sometimes maybe you can give me like simpler brief so that I don't need to sweat so much. So having said that, I'm glad I get to bring you all here and I'm so proud of this house because it is very different from all the houses in Singapore. Having said that, more importantly, I must put down my all so that I can do this. <laughs> Please follow me on my YouTube, on my IG and my Facebook. And I will see you all next time in my next very different, although I hope very easy house tour. See you guys. Bye.